Wagwan, wagwan, wagwan You know the day Na Jamaica TV So viewers and subscribers Welcome back to the channel Yeah man And this video is just a video where we really give some clarity It will come here for make the people them know exactly what take place and thing Yeah viewers and subscribers So without further delay, we're gonna jump in it, right? Right Hold on, hold on there First things first viewers and subscribers Would I love if everybody could have comment R.I.P. down in the comment section yeah, because we must show respect, don't it? Yeah, and we must say condolences, my condolences to the family members, all of the loved ones the same way. Yeah, man, very unfortunate, is it? But viewers and subscribers, unfortunately on November 14th, we wake up to news and realize, say, oh, two people was shot and killed in our Diego Martin, Trinidad and Tobago, in a place called Bagatel. Yeah, Bagatel. I see that place they make the news plenty of time still. Unfortunately, two people lose them life in the area. Everybody knows it's always a sad situation when time people lose them life and them kind of thing. That no, 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 it only bring me down, you understand? Everybody deserve a fair chance to live. Now, after the two people them lose them life on the 14th, the family members decided to put on a funeral for them and that funeral take place. That funeral take place 11 days after they were killed. That the kind of surprise me still because, Jano, you, know, you never see nobody bury this quick in a Jamaica yet. No funeral no take place in 11 days. But that are the thing with Trinidad to see him when I come to Trinidad and I realize that but it's not take long to get buried in a Trinidad. Some people might say that good, some people might say that bad, but I leave one of it really dispute that in the comment section. But locally nobody in a Trinidad never really surprised as to how fast them get buried. Actually people get buried faster than 11 days. Plenty times. You understand? Trinidad is a place where just quick burial. What nobody in Trinidad never did really expect for see was Chelo was sitting in the back of the hearse. You understand? Everybody who come across that video, them most people, most people like most people, me know them did shocked. Plenty of people are say what well, the first them ever see this. Stop people who say well them see things like this happening in America and them place there. But in a Trinidad, and I might go as far as say in the Caribbean, me not think nobody else ever really witnessed things like this happening in the Caribbean. But for all of who puzzled by it, because I know well, I know everybody in the world see it as yet, but for all of who puzzled by it, this is what the funeral directors them, the people them who actually do it, this is what they have to say. Initially, it was a request from the family, and we went along with it. But our tagline for our funeral home is, every life is unique, therefore every funeral should be unique. So we live up to that. We are a group of young people that are making a very different and a high impact. In the funeral we are qualified funeral directors and embalmers and we are just showing off our talent and which we could do. Funeral is not something to be sad about. You know, we show we we we, we um we we showcase the person as a uh, how they would have been alive, yeah. how how you would have remembered them alive and that is all we are doing here today by having the disease sitting in this year and being um carried around into the community that he would have been in and due to his unfortunate death. Innovative young youths, them, you see me? Yeah, we have to say big ups to Denny's funeral home because I can tell you know, and I know plenty other people telling you know, the same way. On a great history in Trinidad and Tobago, on a great history in the Caribbean. I'm not lie, hats off too. No. So we realize that them carry this out well on behalf of the family members because the family members them request it. Yeah. So after we go and we see the body sit down in the back of the hearse on the video early in the morning, the man them actually drive out with the body, you understand, and go give him well a last joyride across Port of Spain. Them drive all over the place with him, them even drive past the Prime Minister office. Do you know, you know, <laughs> you know people, imagine if the Prime Minister did look out through him window and see Che Lewis sit down in the back of a hearse and drive past him office. I wonder which part in the world him really there, I know that for sure. So we realize that them carry this out well on behalf of the family members because the family members them request it. Now for the funeral home, I don't know what kind of attention them believe this thing would have really attract to them. But them decide to well nevertheless them are going to take the risk. And the biggest problem we see where it actually get the funeral home in is the police them are complaining and say well them break road traffic rules. Because if you don't really watch the video and see when them are transport Che Lewis sitting in the hearse. It had two people sit down in the back of the hearse and take selfies and them kind of thing there. And in a Trinidad, it's illegal for be on the back of no kind of moving vehicle. You have to be sitting inside in the passenger area, but like to be in the tray and thing, you can't be sitting in the back like that. It's against the law. So we see where that bring down a bit of heat on Dennis' funeral home. Trust me, I know it was a hectic day for them. I know that. 
So after driving around Port of Spain with J. Lewis, when the body actually reached to the church now, the people them who were conduct the funeral, they were so surprised, they were so astonished. J. Lewis' body did have to get placed outside of the church. That is why we see the videos and pictures of him outside. Even me myself did I wonder, well, why this man's funeral taking place and him not even there in his own funeral? But that was because the people and them who control in the church, then they really like surprise. They never said nothing like this before because J. Lewis' funeral, it actually make history in Trinidad. As I tell you before my people, nobody never do this in a Trinidad. And me go as far as for in the Caribbean too. So J. Lewis did have to sit down outside of the church while him funeral take place. Tell you know that epic, but I don't know how them do it, but him was sitting outside. And me did actually make a report and say, well, him get buried while sitting down in a chair. And after a day, I get for find out, say, well, that wasn't how it was. Him actually go in a casket. And I doubt plenty of people really know this. So that's why I have to really share it the same way. J. Lewis was actually placed in a coffin and buried, yeah viewers and subscribers. They actually bury him in a coffin, not sitting down in a chair, looking like how everybody did actually expect him to look. And we have to always remember to see him here say, well, plenty of people did surprise to what take place because they've never seen this before. We have to all understand, so well, if this was requested by the family members, for them loved one, all we can really do is respect it. Nobody shouldn't really judge them action, you understand? Yeah, but I but believe that the funeral home should have really do them research before them actually take on this, this, this type of work. Understand? No, nobody now try to stop Dennis' funeral home from being creative and thing, but when you go drive all about Port of Spain and them kind of thing, they en route to the church, should I find out what is really the right thing to do instead of uh, bring the body exposed in the hearse? Well, without a mask because see some people are complaining and say, well, him should I be wearing a mask. The funeral home should I really find out what protocol for follow in order to make this thing go down smooth. But otherwise, we in the public, I believe that we in the public are supposed to judge. No, we shouldn't judge because the family members made the decision. And at the end of the day, them are the one who are really responsible for J. Lewis. So nobody is supposed to, well, get upset on them kind of thing there. But my viewers and my subscribers, a Jamaica TV with the next video. Big up on yourself, my people. Until next time, blessings. Yes, it. Me gone, yeah.